All right, welcome to Bachelor Food. Today is a simple recipe. It's uh, what's ever left in the fridge because it's about that time of the month to go shopping and waiting on a check. And today's going to be a little bit different. Um, it's going to be more of a conspiracy, kind of like I've done in the past. Like everyone has a conspiracy, like 9 11, Bilderberg, Illuminati. Like everyone, it's weird. I was born, the time of birth was 9 11. Anyways. It's kind of coincident. Anyways, but this is um, my conspiracy, <laughs> right? You get bored and put stuff together and stuff starts click, 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 making sense. So I'm going to tell you it, what it is, and it's weird that it involves my life and my credentials and not something that I did, just a guy working his way through life and somehow... And this will be my 40-year conspiracy. So let's get to cooking. And we'll tell that story. Cross that bridge, bro. Alright, welcome to Bachelor Food. We have our meal prepped. And this is the 40-year conspiracy. Now, true or not, this is just a theory. And I ain't gonna lie about it. But what's funny to me, bro, and the reason why I call it the 40-year conspiracy, because as soon as I had 40 years on my Social Security administra uh, Administration credits, stuff got weird. Okay? Um, as soon as I literally got 40 credits, that's when stuff got really weird. Now, I got 40 credits by the time I was 30. Maybe a little bit later, but, um, you know, I legally started working 15, got 40 credits. Bro, and this is what's even funny. I'm not even saying I'm the hardest worker. I'm the smartest worker. I ain't the smartest. I ain't the hardest. But there are many people out here in the world that work harder than me have more credentials, and I don't care. But it seems weird that how just some guy trying to live his life is experiencing this. So, it all began. When I was put on an island, right? Had jobs there, worked my ass off, had plans to go to college, do sports, something like that. Open up the cage. Um, it was a business plan for a baseball cage. Um... And yeah, bro, I graduated high school. Big whoop. Everyone graduates high school. That's what people do. Woohoo. Right then I went to um, an online community college so I could get my associates before I get to college. So I only have to do two years master. Legal or not, I don't give a fuck. This is my world. I do what I want. So, it's so weird though, bro. As soon as I moved off island, it was never an issue. Right? Moved off island, had jobs, tried to go play basketball. Moved here, moved there. And eventually, I ended up getting, um, moving in with a girl, had a business. Um, and there was no, like, no, he stole that. No, that's somebody else's high school diploma. No, that's somebody else's bank accounts. The only time, really, was when they moved me after getting 40 years. No, I'm a general now. I need to get a penis extension and a, you know, it just seems weird, bro.
And this is how it all ties in, bro. I had a credit card in the San Juan Islands. Uh, Capital One. And so when we ended up moving, I moved back, right? I moved in with some people that uh, were at my wedding. Okay, moved into uh, this place called Cedar Woolley. Had some more jobs. Worked for Duncan and Bush. Um, you know, you need government stability to get into the refineries to work. Right? And it wasn't a problem. Okay? While I was working there, bro, um, I had two dogs and uh, someone asked us if we wanted to go to Vancouver to check it out, bro, to do a turnaround at the GP paper mill. Now, what's funny to me, right, now while I was at the turnaround, oh, that's some spice there. Now, while I was at the turnaround, I had to put my dogs, bro, into a, uh, what do they call that, like a dog daycare because I had two dogs. Because I had two dogs. And so when we went there, me and this buddy met up. Oh, yeah, let's drive down together for show. <laughs> now, we got there. Well, we stopped at Lowe's first. We stopped at Lowe's. Got some tools and then drove down. Did some work, did this, met a chick, blah, blah. And what's more funny, bro, is that when, because we were going back and forth. So after the turnaround went back up, opened up a Bank of America. Now what's weird about my Bank of America is that it was opened up in Mount Vernon, out of Oregon, not Vancouver, not, and I said, okay, that's even weirder. Right, so I, we ended up moving in with the chick, or I ended up moving in with the chick, who is now my best baby mama, woohoo. Uh, and it's so funny because as soon as I moved in with that girl, I had Chase credit card and a Credit One credit card. Then I opened up a Ferndale. I still have the paper. The printout when I was running a business, right? And what's the weirdest thing ever, bro, is, um, so after we moved in together and, uh, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get you a credit card so you can have some walking around money. You buy yourself some shoes. Something nice. That credit card never showed up. Just like the same transcript I ordered from the online community college that I was going to while living in the trailer park. I ordered it, never showed up. Just disappeared. Coincidentally enough, that credit card was shut. Eh, like three weeks, a month later, when I had open credit, I usually keep about half credit, right? That credit card was shut down for no reason at all. Hmm. So credit card goes missing with the person I live with name on it. Now all of a sudden credit one gets shut down. It's like, all right, bro, whatever. 
right? Continue work. Working my butt off, continue doing this. Then I get to uh, Larkspur, a different place. Get a credit or a Capital One credit card. Same thing. And now this is when it gets really worse because now they're like, that business stuff is stolen, that social security number stolen, that fucking high school diploma is stolen, that Bible is stolen, that. Uh, that's my credit card. Those are my credit cards. And it just seems weird. After 40 years on my social security number. Now all of a sudden, I'm a criminal. And not only that, they changed my driver's license number. Don't know why. Have no clue. Cool. Just some guy trying to live his life. Don't you find that weird? I mean, just at all? <clears throat> now they're saying that Chase credit card was somebody else's. Now they're saying... Bro, I have... um, I have a... Uh, so when I lived in Cedro, I had a... Uh, what they call square. When I lived in Ferndale, I had what they call square. It's where I do, you know, swipe business and stuff. So when I moved to Citro, I used my square to sell my mower. It's the same square. Now all of a sudden, someone's using my square, someone's counterfeiting this, someone's doing that, and it's the funniest stuff to me, bro. Like, Talk about getting 40 years on your, you know, work credits. And then now someone trying to just repossess and then be like, nah, bro, I'm the actual him. People are coming out of nowhere. I'm him. Uh, he didn't live there in the trailer park. Someone's just trying to take credit for everything, which is kind of funny, bro. Right? Again. Have Google. I have all these pictures and posts that proves that was my Verizon Wireless and Firmdale that proves a whole bunch of stuff. Somebody repossessed my whole Google profile with all these pictures. Google Wallet. I have a Google phone right now, bro. Recording these videos. Don't you find that weird? After they switched my driver's license, someone tried taking credit for all the Google profile, the Ashworth profile, the and what's even more funny, bro, is um, I then opened an on point while living with that girl. And somebody, bro, stupid enough, goes into OnPoint after I open up a bank account. And goes in there, 
That's not his. So then they're like, well, here's the badge. Now let's counterfeit this and we can pretend to be him after, you know, the whole Credit One era, the whole Chase era, the whole Ferndale era. Like, check this shit out, bro. I still have the same mitt. I used to play sports at Ferndale. I'd run a business, have jobs, play sports. I still have the same mitt. But somebody is so stupid that they're trying to create everything like a crime. They move me. I move back. Uh, well, we kind of just uh, lied and told everyone that somebody else was the owner and uh, we kind of lied and, right? They just like repossessing stuff. Why is everything going missing? Same thing in Friday Harbor. Phones, mitts, gloves. Seems like every time somebody does something, stuff goes missing and people take off. Ferndale. Phones go missing. High school diploma. People take off. Don't you find that a little funky? And this is what I mean by the 40-year conspiracy, bro. Because what's funny to me... Like this Bible. Somebody's been such a creep, they're like, Nah, that's my Bible. Okay, bro, it's your Bible, but I know what's in it. You didn't write it. You were supposed to read it, but you didn't read it. They were waiting for me to read it, so they could say, No, bro, I read it. Right? What's funny about that is, um, no matter this life or the next, and what I mean in the next life, it still could be this life. It's still gonna lead the comeback. It's still gonna happen. It's your choice, right? But it's my choice to either, you know, I want to go overseas because I'm playing this the whole time. I said, hey, I want to go overseas right now. I have 40 credits, can use my businesses, can get, make money. What are we at? Four, okay, we're almost there. Now they're trying to prevent that from happening. It's my choice, right? As it says in the Bible. You know what I mean? It's kind of funny, bro. It's no matter what, it's this life or the next, as they say, this life is going to happen. The next life is going to happen whether it means this life. You're just you're the 40-year conspiracy is just kind of ruin everything. You know what I mean? So that's the whole video. It's plated. It's chicken, beets, jalapenos, and rice. I'm just laughing at who's ever waiting for me to read this Bible. You know, I'm just laughing at who's ever trying to take credit for all these businesses and Google wallets. I'm just laughing at who's running around pretending to be something they're not. It's kind of like a guitar, bro. Right? When I first moved off to go to college, I got this guitar. Bro, it was just like... Speaking. Like chords. Like what the harp. Bro, just crushing it. But I had to pawn it back. Because I was always broke. So I had to give the guitar back. 
Uh, it's funny how whenever something, you know, I pawn something or I give something back or somebody ends up with it and I'm him. It was Blue Guitar, by the way. It's funny to me. Anyways, that's the 40-year conspiracy. And this basher food. It's kind of funny to me, bro.